So today we have a very interesting dish, which is a take on elotes with a combination of Cambodian style grilled corn. So I don't have a grill right now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it in our air fryer. Before we grill off the corn, we're actually going to boil it in a little bit of water with a little bit of salt, and this is gonna help bring out that sweetness and plump up the each kernel of corn. Basically, you just rub this corn on the cob with some uh, coconut milk with that seasoned with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of fish sauce, and then you grill that off, and then you garnish with your little bit of herbs, the tamarind spice, and uh, the fresh herbs, and it's super delicious. So let's go check this out, and uh, let's have some fun cooking some corn. So here we have some corn on the cob. We're just gonna remove the husk with our hands and try to get rid of all the little, little hairy eyes. Let's brush that off and then we're going to have a pot of boiling water and then just drop this corn into the water for really briefly, like 30 seconds to a minute. And once that's done, uh, we're just going to remove it. So this water is salted just to kind of like bring out that sweetness of the corn is my idea and to help well hydrate them so they're nice, plumpy and, you know, plumpy and sweet. Into a small bowl, we're gonna add some coconut milk, season that with a little bit of sugar, as well as some fish sauce. Give it a little mixity whippity wop with a spoon or a whisk if you want. And then we're just gonna brush that onto, hey, get back over here. And brush that onto our, uh, our corn here. So we have the corn and we're gonna brush it pretty liberally on there. And then we're just gonna throw it into our oven. If you have a grill, you can just grill these corn off, that'd be great, and then just continue to brush it. I don't have that, so I'm just going to take it out and brush it with the coconut milk once again. And once you do that, we're going to sprinkle on a little bit of tamarind spice. Yes, tamarind soup spice is my favorite thing. And then some chopped cilantro and scallion. And then there you go. You have this Cambodian-inspired corn on the cob. It's rather delicious, very umami flavor, and the richy fattiness for that coconut milk, which has a nice gentle sweetness with the sour from the tamarind, and then your fresh herbs. And there you go, a super easy dish to make with corn on the cob. If you like the recipe, make sure you share it with your friends and you download our PDF. We'll have all the recipes, 100 recipes that we made in 100 days and we're posting here for you guys. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you want to check out more of those videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and remember to stay happy, stay hungry, feed your soul and feed your mind. Until next time, let's keep cooking.